TGNA, which is Tegna Inc. What is this, Paul? What Tegna is Inc. This? is an American publicly traded broadcast, digital media, and marketing service media company. company with a portfolio of broadcast stations, digital sites. The firm has around 62 television stations, more than three radio stations in 51 U.S. markets. Blah, blah, blah. The company's... Oh, look, the Justice Network. Is this... Um, what is that? I don't know. I have no idea what the Justice <laughs> <Okay>. Network is. <laughs> Can anybody tell me what the Justice Network is? Okay. Like, what am I missing here? <laughs> okay, let's do Tegna, Paul. Oh! Let's do Tegna. All right, guys. Let's do uh, let's do the Justice Network. Three point five billion dollar market cap. Okay. Eleven PE. Check mark up the dribble. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, definitely a check on the uh, uh what's it called? Profit, Profit margin. margin? Look wow. at that gross margin, almost fifty percent. The dividend yield of one point eight percent. So what is that? Roughly six point three six hundred thirty million dollars. No, sixty three million dollars. What's 3.5 billion times 1.8? I'm sorry, I'm reading comments. Say it again, Paul. 3.5 times 1.8. 6.3. $63 million uh, dividend yield. <clears throat> dividend is being paid. Okay? So two check marks so far. It is a TV station, guys. You always have to be very apprehensive because look what we're doing right now. We're on YouTube right now. We're broadcasting on YouTube. There's going to be a lot of, but that might explain the low multiple. Pillar number three is revenue growth for Tegna. Look at this, they did 5.3 billion. They must have sold a lot of stuff. But anyways, 1.76, 2.3, check mark there. Wow, okay, yeah. three for three. How about profit growth, Paul? The profit growth, oh boy. 459 down to 286. Hey, yo. X. So you wanna see why there's a big drop there? Let's look above. Looking from the window above, it's like a story of love. All right, we'll go to the next ones. I like Max Equity said, Seth is low-key Walter White. Seth is low-key Walter White. <laughs> yeah, I would say, um, <laughs> when, like, I would say is I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to a lot of things that Paul does. Um, but in, the, the, in retrospect, um, I, Paul, my, my PhD th uh, Let's hear it. thesis. <laughs> Here we go. My PhD <laughs> thesis was the synthesis and characterization of mercaptothiol icosahedral borane structures. So if you want to know about those, hit me up on Patreon. Slide into his DMs. <laughs> Slide into my DMs about those borane compounds and their anti-cancer effects, because I know all about those. Go ahead, Paul. We are moving on to shares outstanding, which is pillar number five for Tegna. 224 to 217, check mark. I want to make note, it's increased the last few years. Uh-oh. But about it is still a check mark. Current assets over current liabilities. Oh, and somebody said we should do karaoke one day. Hell oh, yeah, Goldie. That's, a, that's a great. Uh, current assets over current liabilities is pillar number six. I'm sorry. I 763 digress. million versus 399 million. So check mark there. They have a lot of liabilities. Stations, TV stations tend to, I think. That's why they have a lot of debt, et cetera. But it is a check mark for that. We have five checks out of six. Let's go to free cash flow growth, which is pillar number seven. Okay. Uh... 533 to 209. Uh oh. X. Oh boy. Average of 584, 313, the 3 one third, and 562. So kind of all over the place, Paul. Way all over the place. The average free cash flow is 440. Well, guess what? Go on. Oh, wow. Look at really? that. Look at that. So. Here we go, folks. This is Tegna. Uh, we found the average free cash flow to be 440 million. So we'll have a multiple to get to our desired market cap. But the real market cap is 3.5 bill, Paul. This so is 3. why. 3.5 divided by 440 is eight. Yes. Mm. Eight. I can do it 12 times before Seth can even Yeah, it's, it. it's eight. Uh, you keep, I don't know if you're being, uh, you're talking out loud or asking me. Well, we've only been doing this for two years. We'll figure so, this out, folks. So, guys, it's eight, which is awesome. PE mm -hmm. of 10, pretty consistent. But I want to make note, the last year was a big drop in free cash flow. You need to understand that why. Even though the average of the last five years is good, if it's starting to decrease or you have a big drop, you need to understand why. We saw their profit drop big time last year. You need to understand why. So the free cash flow dropped and the profit dropped. 
Usually if I see a difference there with the profit dropping and the free cash flow staying up, I like that because it tells me, oh, might have been one, cent, one kind of small event. But the fact that both dropped tells me there might be an operating income problem. Let's look at the trailing 12 months. That's a great idea. Fummy Wands Tech Vault just brought that up. Let's look at the tra tra uh, trailing 12. Okay. $530 million in the last 12 months in free cash flow. Did we miss a dividend on this stock, Paul? 1.8%. It okay. was some, um, oh, wait. What was the, uh, oh, 60, yeah, they can easily afford the dividend. They're good. Okay. The dividend was 64 million, 68 million, and um, their free cash flow is well above that. Okay. Guys, I love that, by the way. Several times the dividend, thanks for catching that, by the way. Several times the dividend, the dividend's probably okay. Okay. You were so from a free cash flow perspective, guys, go research this. Make sure that last year was an aberration. When I say last year, 2019. 2019 was hopefully a fluke, but also understand what are they doing to account for the world of digital media? What are they doing to account, sorry, us going to streaming services? The, TV stations are all great and dandy, but if they don't have a way to get to that next, to get to the level they need to be to account for what's changing in the world, you, you're gonna, you're just on a sinking ship. So, and also their debt, their debt's $5 billion on revenue of three, was it? Revenue of 2.7, so please try to tell please try to figure out what's going on with their debt levels. So I like this on a chart. This thing, to me, I'm looking at it, and I actually just typed it in the Discord chat for the Mo's Muscles group. We're going to look at this when I get back upstairs because this thing, if we can get some buying some buying to come into this stock, this thing can – I mean, I'm seeing a possible 20% move, and there's very little resistance above it. So this might be something uh, – we're going to trade – we're going to look at this and maybe start a trade on this this afternoon. <laughs>